Back in 2020, Elon Musk pledged to sell nearly all of his physical possessions in order to fund the colonization of Mars. At this time, he's pretty much followed through, but continues to hang on to at least one property in the California Bay Area, which he rents out for events. The world's richest man recently revealed that he doesn't own a personal home and literally stays at friends' places depending on where he needs to be. Um, in fact, I don't even own a home right now. Um, I'm literally staying at friends' places. I. If I travel to the Bay Area, which is where most of Tesla Engineering is, I, I stay in my, I basically rotate through friends' spare bedrooms. Elon's one exception, however, is his private jet. I mean, you can't expect the man to give it all up. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Elon Musk is an American, South African, Canadian entrepreneur, investor, and business tycoon. Not only is he the founder, CEO, and chief engineer at SpaceX, he's also the CEO, early stage investor, and product architect of Tesla. But I'm sure you already knew that. Aside from those massive ventures, Elon has also founded or co-founded other companies like The Boring Company company OpenAI and Neuralink. In April 2022, his net worth was estimated to be a reported $2.73 billion, making him the wealthiest person in the world according to both the Forbes Real-Time Billionaires list and the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Pretty crazy then that the world's richest dude is reportedly couch surfing at his friend's places while he's traveling around for his career. I mean, he did say he wanted to invest most of his money into Mars, so I guess it's Elon's way of following through. I came as soon as I could. What's the situation on Mars? A solar storm, biggest we've ever seen. It caused significant damage to the colony. And the life support systems are down. They're running out of air. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And today we're checking out where Elon Musk calls home, even if he's a little bit of a nomad right now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Elon Musk recently revealed he doesn't own his home and stays at friends' houses depending on where he needs to be for business. He claimed that he rotates through spare bedrooms, like when he needs to be in San Francisco's Bay Area for work, considering he had moved to Austin, Texas. He further explained that he didn't spend huge amounts of money on personal accommodation, but admitted that his one exception was his private jet. In a recent interview with Ted's Chris Anderson, Elon said, It would be very problematic if I was spending billions of dollars a year in personal consumption, but that is not the case. In fact, I don't even own a home right now. I'm literally staying at friends' places. I don't have a yacht. I really don't take vacations. It's not as though my personal consumption is high. I mean, the one exception is a plane, but if I don't use the plane, then I have less hours to work. His living arrangements have been a subject of speculation over the years, as Elon even tweeted last year that his main home was a $50,000 rental from SpaceX in Texas. He claimed that he lived in this 375 square foot modular home made by the company Boxable, and while Elon himself hadn't confirmed the name of the company who made the house, a Boxable unit appears to be visible on location on Google Earth. From a gallery with plans of one of these units, we can see the homes are tiny but stylish, set up like a studio apartment with an open layout for the living area, kitchen, and bedroom, along with an adjacent bathroom. These structures are made of a folded box consisting of concrete panels and steel. Sources claim that the model Elon was renting was a mass-produced 20 foot by 20 foldable prefabricated home, aka the boxable casita. While the company didn't confirm this, in November 2021, Boxable did announce they built a casita for high profile and top secret customer in Boca Chica. Which then makes sense, considering Elon previously tweeted, my primary home is literally a 50k house in Boca Chica Starbase that I rent from SpaceX. It's kinda awesome though. However, the same post had Elon admit he still owned his reported events house or mansion in the Bay Area of San Francisco, but he didn't live there. While living in Austin, there were also rumors that he had been staying in a waterfront mansion there owned by his PayPal co-founder, Ken Howery. The Wall Street Journal reported that Elon spent a good chunk of his time actually living in this lavish estate, but both Elon and Howery denied these claims, and Howery said he has only crashed at the property once in a while. Either way, this mansion spans 8,000 square feet of space and is located in an exclusive Austin neighborhood near Mount Bonnell. It also marked the most expensive home in the city back when it was bought in 2018 for 12 million. 
million. The home sits on a 1.53 acre lot on the eastern bank of the Colorado River. It was built in 1987 and was updated for a contemporary aesthetic since then with modern interior. The gorgeous outdoor area has a pool and spa, private boat slip, and a deck overlooking the river. Not to mention, it's fully gated. In the same recent TED interview, Elon advocated for his plans with colonizing Mars, which seems to be his end goal. In the process, he sparked outrage by claiming most people could easily save up 100k. He stated, If moving to Mars costs $100,000, then I think almost anyone can work and save up and eventually have $100,000 and be able to go to Mars if they want. He also said on Twitter that his 100k cost of a flight on his SpaceX rocket was reasonable. What do you guys think? Affordable or no? Elon did claim last year that he held onto one of his properties, his old world mansion in San Francisco's Bay Area, which he reportedly uses for events. He took it off the market after it hadn't sold for his hopeful ask of $35 million and claims to keep it for events until a large family who will actually utilize the space could purchase it. According to Zillow, after listing it for sale in June, the listing was removed by owner only a few months later. Elon acquired the stately property for just over $20 three million dollars in 2017 from Christian Nguyen IV, whose aristocratic and wealthy family owned the estate for over a century. Located in Hillsborough, a town in San Francisco Bay Area of California, this historic property was built in 1916 by a famed wild child descendant of a French count and gold rush heiress. There are 6 to 10 beds and 10 baths throughout the about 16,000 square feet of elegant space. Most of the mansion was designed by architects Bliss and Fabio, who were also the ones behind the Flood Mansion and the St. Francis Hotel. As per the listing, the mega mansion sits on 47 acres of land with bonuses like an 11 car garage and access to gorgeous hiking trails. The old world mansion comes with royal features like a ballroom with 20 foot ceilings and original moldings, two alcohol cellars, one for wine and one for liquor, and a banquet style dining room. Another highlight is the preserved but upgraded kitchen that features new white tiling and a marble island but still boasts the original servants bells. The entryway is also impressive with the classic black and white checked floors and wrought iron arched windows. Also on the property there's a gorgeous pool as well as a private canyon and reservoir. While Elon has maintained this home even if it's not for personal living, he did offload most of his 100 million dollar real estate portfolio which includes a collection of Bel Air mansions including a 7 million dollar home that once belonged to actor Gene Wilder and a nearly 30 million dollar spread that a Chinese billionaire ball. Before we wrap up this house tour, we can take a peek at what exactly Elon has given up. The home which he sold for over $29 million to a Chinese tech billionaire was also the largest of Elon's homes, spanning 16,251 square feet with 7 beds and 11 baths, and it served as Elon's main residence for a handful of years. He had bought the estate back in 2012 and it was protected by walls, a gate, and state-of-the-art security, while the grounds offered lush gardens, a swimming pool and spa, dining patios and more. The multi-level mansion sat on 1.7 acres of land offering up views of the Bel Air Country Club, Pacific Ocean and even Catalina Island. The home was modeled after a French country estate and there were rooms for Elon to hang out and play video games with his kids as well as a massive home movie theater. Elsewhere there was an elegant living room, gourmet kitchen, home gym, two-story library and much more. Also in Bel Air, Elon had added on with neighboring real estate which included the former Gene Wilder house that sold in 2020. The four remaining Musk properties sold in a nearly $62 million single deal bought by local developer Artie Tavangarian. Only well, two of the homes are next to one another, while all four structures have completely different architectural styles. Well, that about wraps up our Elon Musk house tour. We've looked at his supposed living situation in Texas, as well as the one property he kept in San Francisco. After this video, what did you guys think? Do you think you would sell all your properties if you were the richest man on earth? Would you be down to move to Mars? Be sure to tell me your thoughts in the comments below as well as whose homes you'd like to see next on this channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all next time. Bye.